It seems like the SM Cinematic Universe and Kwangya have reached artists other than Espa. Red Velvet are also associated with Kwangya, even though their involvement is more subtle than you think. So, what are the clues you missed about the connection between Espa's and Red Velvet's music videos? Sulgi is Black Mamba? Ever since Espa came out with Next Level and topped every chart possible, people have been wondering what the Kwangya universe is all about and if other SM artists are connected to it in some way. Next Level dropped in 2021, and the song starts with the lyrics, Unity is my weapon. I walk to Kwangya. I know your home ground. Confront the threat. The lyrics to Black Mamba also mention Kwangya, which translates to wilderness in Korean. But Espa aren't the only group that have brought up Kwangya in their songs. In fact, the term was first mentioned in 2020 in a teaser video for NCT titled NCT 2020 The Past and Future Ether. The term also appeared in NCT U's 90s Love, EXO's Don't Fight the Feeling, and NCT Dreams' Hello Future. But what is Kwangya? Well, it's a bit hard to explain, but bear with with me. In NCT's teaser, Kwangya is explained as a wave that keeps limitlessly expanding beyond the infinite universe and has no form, limit, or rules for that matter. In a video titled Espa Episode 1 Black Mamba SM Culture Universe, SM made an entire video explaining SMCU's concept, but it's still very confusing to be honest. According to SM, I are the alter egos in the virtual world who have a free will of their own, though Kwangya is not the only dimension in the SM cinematic universe. First is the real world called Flat, which is inhabited by the eye. Second is Kwangya, which is the dimension beyond flat, and lastly Cosmo, which is a transcendent place that hasn't been reached by anyone yet. The real world and flat are connected by an energy called the Port of Soul or POS. People in flat are either aware of their eye and communicate with them, which is a process called sync or completely oblivious to them. Navis, who has also been mentioned multiple times in Espa's songs, is a mysterious being that makes it possible for humans to connect to their eye. Black Mamba, on the other hand, tries to stop humans from connecting with their eye. You've seen Black Mamba slithering around in the form of a giant snake in Espa's music video for Black Mamba. Based on the lyrics of the song, Black Mamba is the quote-unquote villain in Kwangya, and the Espa members are fighting to defeat it. This is where Red Velvet gets involved. I know that the Red Velvet members said that they have no idea what's going on in the Kwangya universe, but they are involved as well. Sulgi herself jokingly said in a Sulgi Zip episode that she was the Black Mamba, but was it really a joke? I discussed the Feel My Rhythm music video, and how the music video references a lot of paintings and especially the Garden of Earthly Delights. Well, there's a part in the painting where you can see a sphere standing in what seems to be an iceberg. Sulgi is inside of a similar sphere in Feel My Rhythm, and the iceberg looks a lot like the cover for the Savage mini album. The place depicted in the cover of Savage is also where Espa encountered the Black Mamba, in this case, Sulgi. Not only that, but the crown that Sulgi wears in the music video looks like the Savage font in the album cover. Sulgi herself confessed that it's the exact same one that Taemin wore in the Never Gonna Dance Again Act 2 teaser, just painted black. Taemin may have a bigger role in Kwangya than we think he does. That is way too similar to be a coincidence if you ask me, but since Taemin has yet to make some reference to the concept, these all remain theories. You can also notice that Sulgi is also mainly depicted in a green light in Feel My Rhythm, just like the Black Mamba was in Espa's music video. The biggest clue to this theory is again, the Garden of Earthly Delights painting. The painting shows the temptation of Eve by the snake, but in the painting, the snake is replaced by a bird. And who is the bird in the Feel My Rhythm music video? None other than Sulgi. Plus, the Black Mamba in human form is seen standing behind Karina in the Black Mamba music video, and she's wearing a dress with feathers on it, which might allude to Sulgi also transforming into a bird at times. I hope SM at least give us a clear description of what roles the Red Velvet Girls play in the SMCU, especially since Irene and Sulgi seem to be a big part of it. But until then, let's discuss another clue. The identity of Navi. Since we already talked about Sulgi being Black Mamba, let's talk about Irene being Navis. This makes sense since Irene and Sulgi have been depicted as rivals in every music video so far. However, Irene has always been the evil while Sulgi has been the good. But in the Kwangya universe, Black Mamba is the evil force while Navis is the good counterpart. However, what if Navis is only appearing to be good and someone else is doing her dirty work? And what if Black Mamba is the one who's being tricked into being the evil one so Navis can keep up the facade of being the savior. After all, it's not the first time that Irene has altered reality so she can keep everyone under her control. Irene may have convinced Espa that Sulgi is the evil between the two, so all of this could work in her favor. Why would Irene bother defeating Sulgi when Espa could do the job for her? The theory of Irene being the one who's behind all of this is supported even more by the fact that the Black Mamba appears on the screen behind Irene and Sulgi when they're performing Monster. And we all know that the monster is actually Irene. Her manipulation really goes 
goes beyond the Red Velvet members and has reached Aespa as well. That's just how powerful she is. The creation of Kwangya. Those who are waiting for Red Velvet to go to Kwangya are going to be very happy to know that two of the members were the ones that created it. In the Garden of Earthly Delights, the first panel of the painting symbolizes the Garden of Eden or the creation. The end of the Feel My Rhythm music video is a direct parallel to the first panel, which means that Red Velvet, more specifically Sulgi and Irene, are the ones that created Kwangya as a whole. This can also be best seen at the end of the Naughty music video, where Irene and Sulgi are watching Kwangya itself being created. A theory on Twitter suggests that the end of Naughty reveals that Sulgi and Irene made Kwangya as an alternate universe. You can see that at the beginning of the video, they're walking two different paths. Irene is walking in a city, which represents the real world, while Sulgi seems to be in a dark cave, which represents the alternate world. They bump into each other, representing the meeting of the two worlds. The two decide to create Kwangya, which is where the real world and the alternate universe would meet. So even though Red Velvet haven't name dropped Kwangya in their songs, or the fact that the members don't understand the SM cinematic universe outside of their own music videos, doesn't mean that they're not involved in it. Iconic rivalry. If Sulgi and Irene created Kwangya together, where did their rivalry even come from? Irene and Sulgi probably created Kwangya with the intention of ruling together as equals. But considering all of Red Velvet's music videos, Irene isn't one to share, especially her power. To explain the naughty music video, Irene said, In the MV, we went our separate ways at the end, right? There's a reason why we split up. Though she doesn't expose what the reason is, there's a theory for that too. So there's a possibility that Irene got greedy and started making up plans to rule Kwangya all on her own, and naturally she and Sulgi became rivals. There are two theories that may allude to this. The first one I already talked about. Irene altered reality to make Sulgi seem like the evil black mamba and the one that's stopping humans from connecting with their eye. This makes Espa think that Sulgi is the villain and that they have to defeat her to communicate with their eyes again. The second theory suggests that Sulgi already knows of Irene's evil intentions to take over Kwangya on her own and get rid of Sulgi in the process. That's why Sulgi is trying to destroy Kwangya as the Black Mamba so she can put an end to Irene's bad intentions. Irene is aware of this and turns everyone in the real world against Sulgi as she convinces them that she's the villain for trying to stop them from communicating with their eyes. Irene is doing everything in her power to keep control of Kwangya and the world Red Velvet are living in, but it seems like Sulgi is trying to stop her every time. The third theory suggests that Irene and Sulgi are working together to rule Kwangya, but in this theory, Sulgi and Irene are the ones that created Black Mamba together and are controlling Karina with it. The monster music video shows us how Irene finally got Sulgi under her control and now they're conspiring together to rule Kwangya. In the Black Mamba teasers, Karina is the only one who's posing with the human version of Black Mamba. In fact, the Black Mamba is seen behind Karina in every single shot. In one teaser picture, she's even whispering in Karina's ear as if she's influencing her actions and telling her what to do. There's also a shot in the music video where Karina is sitting on a throne with the Black Mamba standing right behind her. This means that Irene and Sulgi succeeded in taking control of her. If we also look at Karina's iconic savage teasers, she's floating and is in the grasp of the headless snake skeleton, which represents the control Black Mamba has on her. Irene and Sulgi might try to use Karina to turn the other members and have them under their control too, so they can rule Kwangya in peace without any interruptions. Land of the Snakes. I've only talked about Irene and Sulgi so far, but Red Velvet's involvement in the Kwangya universe might be even bigger than we thought and not just limited to those two. In fact, in the next level music video, you can see five snakes slithering on the ground around Karina. These snakes are in different colors, but coincident or not, all the colors are those that are representative of Red Velvet. Pink for Irene, green for Joy, yellow for Sulgi, blue for Wendy, and purple for Yeti. The location in Next Level seems pretty similar to the one in The Bad Boy too, even though the one in Bad Boy is less colorful. In another scene of the music video, there are four mannequins standing behind the Red Velvet members, with one of the mannequins' heads being cut off. This might mean that the other members assisted Sulgi and Irene in capturing Espa, and the cut-off head may symbolize that Karina no longer has free will, as she is under their control. It's true that Bad Boy came out years before Espa debuted, but it doesn't hurt to theorize, right? Especially when it all makes sense. What are your theories on how Red Velvet are involved in the SMCU? Share them in the comments, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!